being patient, perseverant, you know, and also religious goodness, establishing the prayer, giving the zakah, right? So it's, it's a combination of both of those things in one place. So if you think you are in a position to define what good is, most likely you're sticking to moral goodness. And you're undermining religious goodness, like the rituals that Allah taught us. But what Allah wants is for us to have both at the same time. This is when a person is truly good. Otherwise, you're not really good. You, are, you have defined goodness for yourself and you have rejected Allah's definition of it. But we turn to Allah for guidance because we can't define things for ourselves. We want Him to define them for us. Inshallah ta'ala. Okay, last one. Alhamdulillah. How can I get my wife to take hijab serious? It's been a few years now and she still won't put it on. She thinks it's, a, it's no big deal. Uh, don't tell her about hijab. Stop talking to her about hijab altogether. Uh, what you do is you talk to her, or actually don't, you don't talk to her because what happens oftentimes is the, pers the people least effective with, the, with uh, da'wah are members of the family. Like they would much rather listen to a stranger and actually take their advice than listen to someone in their family. It's much harder for me to give da'wah to my own cousins because ah, it's just no man again, he's talking, yeah, it's something on YouTube or something. Right? Because uh, I'm just another, just a guy from home. No big deal, right? So this is actually a problem for speakers too. They can give da'wah to the world, but guess what? They gotta get somebody else's tape and somebody else's CD to put in the car when they're driving. I wanna hear you, I hear you enough. <laughs> right? This happens. This even happened to Abu Hanifa rahimahullah. Abu Han the whole city of Baghdad is coming to him to ask questions. His mother says, you don't know anything. I'm going somewhere else to find out what the answer is. And where she used to go for the answer, that guy was a student of Abu Hanifa. <laughs> so he would know the answer, he'd say, I'll do my research and get back to you. He'd come to Abu Hanifa, rahimahullah, he would say, tell her this is the answer, but don't tell her it was from me. And he would go back, right? So the first thing is, acknowledge that a lot of times religion, when you try to give it to your family, you have to be a little tactful. You have to be a little, you know, have more strategy, basically. Find a really good speaker about the hereafter the day of judgment. The biggest problem for your wife, first of all, is not hijab. Hijab is a symptom, not the disease. The disease is a weakness of iman. How do you strengthen iman? You strengthen iman with reminder. What's the most powerful reminder? Quran. If you look at the ayat of reminder in the Quran, what are they always talking about? The hereafter and the destruction of the people in the past. This is the powerful reminder. People that didn't listen, look at what happened to them, look at what's going to happen to them, right? So, for example, the series, a series on the hereafter, right? Somebody going, giving a really powerful khutbah on, you know, how human beings have to struggle for salvation. A powerful reminder from Quran. If you make that a culture in the, in the family where every day, 15, 20 minutes, we're going to listen to something from the Quran in a powerful way. Right? There's plenty of, uh, of speakers and resources available nowadays that you can listen to. Like, uh, you know, the Awlaki series on the hereafter is great, I think. You know, uh, um, and I, I know, actually know people that got off their mortgages after listening to that CD. You know, they got out of riba. It was, it was that powerful. So, you know, take advantage of those kinds of resources and understand that you are not always the best means of da'wah to certain people. Certain people need to hear it from somewhere else. And, you know, we can't make da'wah to everyone. There are some people we have an effect with, some people we're completely useless with. Right? So everybody has their audience. So inshallah ta'ala, that hopefully helps you with the situation of uh, your spouse. And uh, last thing I should say about that, my... Uh, my gut feeling is her problem isn't intellectual. Meaning it's not like she's not convinced it's important. It really is, she doesn't see the seriousness of obeying Allah in every last commandment. That's the real issue. Once that's resolved, hijab is going to come anyway. And among other things, inshaAllah ta'ala. Well done. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik. Nashadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka. Wa natubu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. سبحان الله والحمد لله ولا إله إلا الله والله أكبر سبحان الله والحمد لله ولا إله إلا الله والله أكبر